Showers and storms for the afternoon. Right now, though, if you look across the region, we are seeing temperatures already reaching the 80s. Quite a difference from a few hours ago. This is the 9 o'clock update, and you can still see those clouds are staying around with us, especially as we go with the rise of temperatures, the increase of clouds. But if you can get a beautiful view out there, maybe a glimpse of some sun, I'll say you're in for a good day. But Looking at our threat tracker, we are going to be tracking the threat of some showers and storms. Some could be strong if they come together. There is still uncertainties on some of that development. Then Monday and Tuesday and through the rest of the work week, we are upping the threat tracker because of high heat index values and it could make feels like temperatures reach at least maybe even 100, even though the temperatures will be in the upper 90s. Well, if you are traveling today, I'm going to pick on you from Metropolis along Interstate 24 because this is the last day to go to the Superman Festival. Currently, there are no delays being reported, and that is some good news because there are some construction zones heading out that way. So just be mindful of that and be mindful of this. The Storm Prediction Center giving us a slight risk that means a level two. This is the latest update, a two out of five that is on the storm prediction scale. And this entire area highlighted in this darker shade of green, that is level one, a marginal risk on this map. And this is primarily extending all the way down to our Kentucky, our Tennessee regions. Of course, Southeast Missouri, you are highlighted in this. Primarily the threat is for damaging winds and some hail at that. Well, temperatures later this afternoon are gonna be reaching up into those upper 90s. And we do have a heat advisory. I'll talk about that in a moment. But here we go. Storm Prediction Center is giving us this slight risk. Here we are. These storms are going to keep coming down. But again, there's a lot of uncertainty on this. This is not a direct path. And uh, things could certainly play out differently as we go through the day. So just be aware of the timing of some of these storms. They could pop up almost at any given moment. And we've seen a few of those already this afternoon or this morning, I should say. Well, we are looking at a heat advisory for heat index values going what feels like 100 degrees. So this advisory is from 11 this morning until 8 this evening, primarily for the fact that if you go outside, you see temperatures are into at least the 90s, upper 90s. The humidity and temperature are coming together and making it feel more hot outside than it actually is, although 90 is still pretty high up there. And this is actually affecting a lot of people across the United States. And you can see here, even Oklahoma seeing an excessive heat warning. So if you have friends or family out there, just tell them to uh, stay inside, especially over the next few days as we go forward, Monday through Wednesday, and even through the rest of the work week, heat index values are gonna be feeling over 100. So what can you do to help keep yourself or your friends and family safe? Please never leave your kids or your pets inside of a vehicle ever, especially during these hot, humid times. Drink plenty of water, stay hydrated, reduce the activity outside, find the shade, stay in the AC, get comfortable, check on your neighbors, make sure that they're all right, and wear light weight, light colored clothing. Maybe not something like what I'm wearing, but make sure that you also have the StormTrack 3 app downloaded on Google Play or the Apple App Store because, again, these storms are going to be hit or miss and we don't actually know the full track of this or the timing. Just be prepared. The StormTrack 3 app will let you know when a storm is in your area and you'll know on the go. But looking forward, again, very hot and humid the next few days. A few chances of storms do go linger into our Monday. Expect a few of those late night showers this evening as well. But our next chance of rain looks to be maybe even Thursday. But again, look at those temperatures into the 90s.